I think I'm feeling like some Mexican food. Now, I've lived in Mexico on and off for 10 years, and one thing I love about Mexico is the food, especially the fish tacos I used to get in some of the beach towns I visit down there. But down there, they fry the fish, they put mayonnaise on it, all kinds of stuff that's not really in keeping with a healthy lifestyle. So I took it apart, put it back together my way, and I'm going to show you how to make them the healthy way on Gaspari Kitchen. All right, for this dish, you're going to need one fish fillet that I showed you how to make on another Gaspari Kitchen video, a little shredded uh, cabbage, some cilantro, some lime, a quarter of a very small avocado, a couple spoons full of Goya black bean soup. All you got to do is open this, pour the liquid off, and then the, that's what's left over. Put it in here. You guys have asked me about these little containers. They're great. You put a top on them, boom, they go in the fridge. You keep forever. Next thing you're going to need um, is some Willie's uh, salsa. Now, I don't know who this dude Willie is, but let me tell you something. This is the best dams prepared salsa I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's awesome, and it's very low calorie. And then we're going to go probably use a couple of these uh, low-carb, carb counter, La Banderita um, uh, tacos, soft tacos. There's only 45 calories in each one. And optionally, you can put some 2% milk cheddar cheese on there, or you can leave the cheese out altogether. This pan has been heating up for a couple of minutes over, uh, you know, medium heat, medium-high heat. I'm going to spray it with a little cooking spray and throw in the fish oil. Move that around. Let that cook on that side for about two or three minutes till it gets crisp. Then we're going to flip it over and cook it on the other side. All right, this has been on here about three minutes. I'm going to flip it over, and hopefully when I flip it over, it breaks in half. If not, I'm going to have to break it. Well, it kind of did. Separate it the rest of the way. They're going to cook again until the other side looks like that side. While the fish is cooking, you go ahead and put cheese on these, these tacos, tortillas, to turn them into tacos. So that's, a, that's an ounce spread out between two tacos. So not very, not very much at all. All right, then you take the fish filet that split in half, one on each taco. Now grab them like this, fold this corner up here, this one up here, this one up here, and now we're gonna go over and put them back in the pan that's still on the heat. And put those on there, let them cook for about a minute or two till all the cheese melts, and then we're done. All right, the cheese is melted on these and these are ready to put together. Now, I told you before in Mexico, they put mayonnaise on the tortilla. And the reason they do that is to create a fat barrier on the tortilla. So when you put the wet stuff on it, it doesn't go through and dissolve the tortilla. And then you got a big pile of glop in your hand. So next, come on, the beans. This is 110 calories for a half a cup. I'm using this much. I mean, so really, we're talking like almost none. Same thing on this one. Cup. This is one quarter of a small avocado. I'm going to split up between the two. Spoon of Willies. This is 45 calories in a cup, so, and again, I'm hardly using any. A little on this one. You don't need much. There's a lot of flavor in this stuff. A little shredded cabbage, which is traditional for a fish taco. Squirt of lime juice, a little cilantro, and you're done. That's what they look like all finished. You get two tacos out of the deal, 345 calories total, 13 grams of carbs, 29 grams of protein, 8.5 grams of fat, and you are going to love them.